I'm Chad, and welcome to another Moto Vlog. In this one, we're going to be talking about how the bi-directional quick shifter works on my 2017 Aprilia Tuono V4 1100 factory. Marketing literature from Aprilia calls this Aprilia Quick Shift. Aprilia Quick Shift is composed of two features. The first is Aprilia Quick Shift Up, which allows you to upshift without using the clutch or changing your throttle position or anything. You just kick gears while you're accelerating and the bike will keep going. Like so. The second component to Aprilia Quick Shift is Aprilia Quick Shift Down. This allows you to downshift without using the clutch or flipping the throttle. So to use this system, you can actually have the throttle open a little bit or have the throttle completely closed. You just don't want to try to use it while you're rapidly accelerating or really accelerating at all but it goes like this. No throttle. So this is awesome technology. Now both of these technically have some slang terms associated with them. Quick shift up is generally just referred to as quick shift or having a quick shifter. The assumption is that if you have a quick shifter, you're talking about a quick shifter, it is used to shift up gears without the clutch while accelerating, not having to do anything with the throttle. Now in the case of Aprilia Quick Shift Down, that feature is commonly referred to as auto blip or having an auto blipper because when you use it, it blips the throttle for you. And effectively rev matches your downshift. Both of these features are enabled by a pressure sensor that is in line with the shift linkage on this bike. If there is a pushing pressure on it, such as when you're going to shift up, it knows that you are going to shift up. And it'll send a signal to the ECU to cut the ignition for a fraction of a second, which is just long enough for the transmission to unload, enough that you can complete your shift without damaging the gearbox. It'll allow you to slip into the next gear and then re-engage the spark and deliver power again so that you can continue to accelerate. So quick shift down or auto blip or the auto blipper is a little bit more complicated than that because it requires more technology. Auto blip or quick shift down requires a mechanism to physically blip the throttle. So in the case of the 2017 and up 210V4, the bike has a ride-by-wire throttle system, which means that rather than having steel cables running from the throttle tube on the bar back to the physical throttle bodies, there is actually a chipset that is connected to the throttle tube with a set of electrical wires that run to the ECU. Thus the ECU has a set of wires somewhere that connects to an electronic servo motor on the throttle bodies. So when you go to open the throttle, it sends an electrical signal to the ECU, commanding the servo motor on the throttle bodies to open accordingly. Because the throttle bodies are electronically controlled, they can be overridden by the ECU based on whatever inputs it's receiving. That's how the traction control system works on this bike, the wheelie control system. So that pressure sensor in my shift linkage is bi-directional. So again, push signals that were upshifting will cut the ignition temporarily to allow the transmission to unload and let the bike slip into the next gear, re-engage spark, keep us accelerating forward as quickly as possible. When it feels a pulling action, the sensor travels in the opposite direction and it knows that I want to downshift. So obviously the transmission is loaded either from the engine being under power or the engine being under engine braking. That resistance is going to allow the sensor to move before the shift linkage does. So when that happens, it sends a signal up to the ECU, that sends a signal to the throttle bodies, and tells them to open briefly, very briefly. Just enough to let enough air in so that the transmission can be unloaded, the engine speed can be matched to the next gear down, and that they're closed just in time for the transmission to re-engage so that you have a smooth downshift, like this. And the blipper works great on the brakes. So 
one of the things that's really cool about the Tuono V4 and actually most other newer motorcycles that have this kind of bi-directional quick shifter or the quick shifter and the auto blipper is that they get so much more data than just something as simple as a pressure sensor. These bikes know what gear you're in, what the next gear down is, what the difference in engine speed will be between sixth and fifth gear, for example, if you want to go to downshift at this speed, or even as you're decelerating. And the same goes for an upshift too. In addition to that, the bike's inertial measurement unit measures roll, pitch, and yaw. So lean angle, left or right movement, and pitch downward and upward. So based on all this, it can adapt to your specific circumstances and give you the best upshift or downshift possible. For example, if I'm braking really hard and I'm starting to trail break in, the bike knows that I'm on the side of the tire. So it's not gonna need to blip the throttle quite as much to give me a smooth downshift when I'm trail braking into a corner because I'm on the side of the tire, which effectively shortens my final drive ratio. Conversely, if I'm coming out of a corner or I'm leaned over a bit on the tire, like I'll demonstrate here, even just a little bit, the bike knows, and it knows that it can cut the ignition for a little bit longer, giving you an even smoother upshift. And then of course it knows your throttle position, so when you're accelerating, if you're wide open throttle, it knows that you're trying to accelerate as quickly as possible, give you the quickest cut time possible. If you're at low RPM and not a very open throttle position, the bike will know that you're just cruising around town and it can be a little bit more lazy with the shift, which in some cases, especially at low RPM, will actually give you a smoother shift. It's just really awesome how the Tuono V4 and many of these other newer motorcycles can adapt to all these conditions and really just give you the best shifts possible, taking into consideration everything that's happening with the motorcycle and you. So the quick shifter and auto blipper on this bike aren't exactly perfect, and I don't think they are on any motorcycle, but it seems the technology continuously improves and things get much better. My Triumph Daytona 675R race bike that's a 2012 has a factory quick shifter on it and being that the bike doesn't have wheel speed sensors it just goes off of throttle position engine speed load and obviously when you're hitting the shifter <laughs> not as much data there and it still works pretty well but the tuono v4s is a noticeable improvement all of that extra data just allows the bike to make the best decision possible when you're trying to change gears or really do anything for that matter where electronic intervention is possible but yeah that is how a bi-directional quick shifter works and specifically how a pretty quick shift up and down work or how a quick shifter and an auto blipper work all of the terms with that i'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video i'd really appreciate it if you gave me a gentle little click of the like button helps to get my videos recommended and i love sharing my knowledge with the motorcycling community. Definitely like making friends that also like motorcycles over here. Consider subscribing if you want to see more Aprilia Tuono V4 factory content. I take this bike to the racetrack occasionally, and I also have a 2012 Triumph Daytona 675R race bike that I'm club racing, as well as a 2009 Yamaha WR250X Supermoto, on which I am trying to learn how to wheelie. I post content weekly, so I think there's a good chance I'd be able to entertain you a bit. Hit the notifications if you do decide to subscribe. Get notified every time I post a video and don't miss out on the fun. I'll hope to catch you in the next one, but until then, later. Virtual reality, let's go.